Hey guys, welcome to Hot or Not Thursday. Today we're gonna play with a lot of shiny stuff. Um, I picked up brand new items from Revlon. I picked eight of the 10 of the brand new Photo Ready Eye Art Duos for lid, line, and lash. We are gonna swatch all of these beautiful new items from Revlon. I do have eight out of the 10. I am missing two because they were sold out. There was a peach tone one and a more champagne one that if I see them, I am gonna pick them up because there are enough of these that I absolutely love that I think I would like those as well. Uh, so the issue with these is from color to color, there is a difference in texture and opacity, and we're gonna go through them. Some are better than others. The applicators are really great on this. I really, really like them, especially for the glitter. It's kind of a thicker applicator. Um, usually with glitter liner, you kind of get a thin brush. The thicker brush on this that is more like a lip brush is great for covering more of your lid area. Um, I really easily was able to get a lot of color underneath my eye right here. A lot of that gold glitter, just one swipe. You don't need much. And it's a good, solid product. It looks a lot like their nail polish duos. On the cream shadow portion of this, there is a doe foot applicator, and it is awesome. Really, really easy to apply this product. Let's start with my very favorite. The one that I am wearing right now, I'm wearing this glitter right here. This is part of the... Desert Dazzle Duo. The cream green shade on this is completely smooth, opaque, nice in texture, very long wearing. All of these, however, they dry down in a way where if you rub your eye a lot, it is going to crumble and flake off. So don't rub your eyes when you wear this product. And it does feel a little bit tight on the eyelids, so you might notice that as well. But for a special occasion or a night out, I think it's not a problem. It does hold into place. The second runner up is this copper rust beautiful shade right here. I love this, especially for blue or green eyes. This type of a shade will really enhance your eye color. This one is called Burnished Bling and I equally love the glitter and the cream on this. It's just very pretty, very smooth, very easy to wear, easy to apply. My third favorite is because I'm obsessed with the glitter. Not really feeling the gold shade here because it is quite patchy. It doesn't apply as evenly as I would like, but the glitter is so beautiful. For a dark glitter to be this intense and this opaque, I am really, really impressed. This is better than a lot of the higher end black glitter liners that I have tried, and I just love this. This one is called Gold Glitz, by the way, but I'm not after the gold. It's all about the black glitter in here. This one, Green Glimmer, which I think is more of a mermaid green. It's not so much of an actual green. This, I love the cream. Not really feeling the glitter. It's not as opaque as I would like. I hate it when glitter liners have like a little sprinkling of glitter and a lot of that gel kind of gooey texture that you have to kind of layer and layer and layer to get the opacity and effect that you want and then it just feels crunchy and weird. I just don't like this one. The cream, however, is gorgeous. It's very bright without being obnoxious. It's flattering, easy to apply. But again, mm, mm. I wish more than anything, this one, Black Brilliance, was duoed up with that black glitter. In fact, I may clean this brush off and do that and kind of make my own duo, which you could do with these. They're shaped to fit you know, the same. Uh, the glitter on here is horrible. It is literally the worst one out of all eight that I tried. It's just very chunky and there's not a lot of reflection in the actual glitter. So it just, it kind of looks like you put lash glue all over your eyelid. It's just clumpy, I don't like it. The black, however, is worth buying this sucker just for this side. It dries down to the most beautiful, intense, opaque, even matte shade. You could apply it as liner with an angled brush. You can apply it all over the lid, and then any of these glitters are gonna really pop against it. It's just a beautiful cream black shade. I love it. And then there were three that I just didn't like altogether. So these ones, just did not apply evenly either on the glitter side or on the cream side. The purple one was actually the first one that I tried out of all of these. This one I just felt like I had to layer it up so much and it would not blend and I had like three layers of the purple before I even put on any purple glitter and it just looked kind of chunky and didn't look very flattering. So Lilac Luster I'm not a fan of. I'm also not a fan of Fuchsia Flash 
or cobalt crystals. Same situation, they just don't apply very evenly. There are a lot of them in here that I totally recommend and love. I think this collection is definitely worth checking out. So long as you pick the right shades. So that's it for this week's Hot or Not. Thumbs up if you enjoy me going through like a big, huge display of lots of colors and swatches and all of that good stuff. I hope you liked it. Make sure you're subscribed. If you're not already subscribed, please hit that button. It would mean a lot to me. And thanks for hanging out. I will see you guys next time. Mwah.